this is Thunder Yee from BorderWorld.com and today we're going to show you how to make your own portable uh, USB 3.0 hard drive or you know portable hard drive so you need a couple of things you need an uh, external hard drive enclosure I'm um, using a 2.5 external hard drive enclosure from Inlad I picked this up at Micro Center for $14.99 you can uh, get them pretty cheap nowadays you also need a 2.5 um, inch uh, hard drive so I'm actually using an old hard drive I, I took off of my Western Digital um, and USB 2.0 hard drive took it out you can also use an SSD if you like and what comes in this package with inlet it's the instructions here very simple and of course you do also have the enclosure as well as the USB 3.0 cables this will also work for USB 2.0 hard drive it's just a slow the speeds will be slower so very simple I already took out the screws it comes with two screws which you guys hopefully can see here it's got an auto shut off functionality uh, supports up to three terabyte hard drive so if you have a three terabyte SSD or hard drive you can put in there sure go ahead so you pull this out see the enclosure there's pretty much nothing there in there um, in terms of ventilation uh, nada so anyway here is our uh, hard drive um, and we take that up now. This is a 320 gigabyte hard drive we pulled out uh, Make sure you just basically plug and match them It should be this way uh, There we go boom there we have it and then we're going to slide it in of course this LED part match in there again depends on what uh, enclosure you use, but this is how my enclosure works Oops, oops. Slide that in properly. All right, this should be it. There you have it. So it's slid in. Take our screws, place them in. Screwdriver, tighten this thing up. Take the other screwdriver, tighten that up. And there you go, done. So, we gotta test it out. Take our ThinkPad X1, which has a USB 3.0 port. We take this, plug it in here, that way, sorry. Boom, our hard drive, and we plug this into our USB 3.0 port. This side, you can see it lights up indicating that it is on don't need that on screen let's see let's look for a hard drive here and there you have it your device is ready to use so I'm pull this here so you guys can see that clearly it says my passport because you can see I used the drive that was a passport and again the drive is on here you can feel it spinning so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag I did have some uh, some stuff here maybe I, I actually put in recycle let's see you know let's copy a file here you can see just the copy speed drop in there instantaneous uh, I did have some video that I put through into recycle bin so let's restore these two Okay, two videos have been restored. Select that. Select that video. Carry both of them. Drop. So you can see how fast it is. Even with an older um, hard drive, you can see the transfer speed is much faster because, of course, the connectivity is USB 3.0 so there you have it that's how it is how easy it is to create your own USB 3.0 uh, portable hard drive you can use an old hard drive enclosure again you can pick it up for like 14 15 dollars for the enclosure works for USB 3.0 this one from inlet actually has an auto shut off functionality so if you're not using it for a while it actually just shut off on its own and it doesn't only uses one USB port and will work with USB 2.0 so if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border World for 2.0. So this is Thunder Yee saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.